Father's Day to everyone out there, fathers and fathers to be, and um, happy Father's Day to you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, it's such an honor to have this time where we can celebrate fathers. And I say fathers are very important, but there's a greater father, the Lord ultimate God, father. the yeah. ultimate father. Yes. So a lot of us might have gone through one thing or the other thinking, oh, Father's Day is nothing. But I want to introduce to you the ultimate father. Yeah. And he's the father of all oh, fathers. He has good, a good father. Of beauty. He's a good, good, good father. father. Yeah. And today we had seven points that we shared in church. And that's why I'd like you to please join and check our website. And yeah. you can listen to the full inspiring um, message. Um, message. So today we talked about what the role of a father is as a worshiper. We talked about him as a teacher. We talked about him as a um, as an intercessor, and we talked about him also as an affirmer. He affirms, and also he's a counsel. He gives right wisdom and counsel. And then the fifth one we talk about as an example, example in Christ, not just an example. He's an example of a in man, Christ, yes. but in Christ, because not all fathers are examples. So he's an example in Christ. And then the last one is a blessing. He blesses. And a father's blessing, if you look throughout the Bible, is very, very important. If you look at Isaac, you look at Jacob, there's a blessing the father brings. But today, I would want you to just share a bit. I talked about, I picked the one about the fact that he teaches his mm. children what to do. And I want you to give us a, a, a quick illustration of why is it that it's so important that a father teaches the children, the faith. Yeah, because um, I think it's Psalm 78 talks about that God wants it to be a statue. Okay. That if a father must teach the Bible to the next generation, otherwise mm -hmm. there will be a new generation that will come up oh that do not know about God. And so that's why okay. it's important for mm. us it's important for us to be able to make sure that we're teaching that to the mm. next generation. Mm. Yeah, because if you look at the book of Judges, mm. Bible says after Judge pa Joshua passed away, mm. the elders, they didn't pass it to the next generation. So a whole next generation come, came up mm -hmm. and they had no idea about the wonderful acts of God. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. So also the fact that he's a worshiper, that's very important. Showing his life, his children, what it is to worship. And there was one other thing, talk about counsel, wisdom, which Solomon took from yes. his father. And that's why when God asked him, he said, I pick, I pick wisdom, you know. So I pick, yeah. <laughs> Proverbs 4, Abba says, the father, uh, the, the, the wise sayings which my father taught me. He said, when I was young, he taught me, he says, choose wisdom. He says, you know, you're getting, get wisdom mm. and get understanding. Mm. And so that's why he said wisdom is the principal thing. And so when it came, and Solomon was given an opportunity to choose. He said, God came to, uh, to Solomon and said, Solomon, what do you want me to do for you? Just tell me, what do you want me to do? To do for you. Hmm. And he said, I want wisdom. Hmm. And because when you have wisdom, it brings riches. It brings influence. It brings all other things. He got it. So it was counsel that he got from his father. And then the last thing I can but say is the affirmation. A lot of times fathers don't affirm their children. And that's very important because they raise up children who are insecure. And they look for other areas to find fulfillment. So in that light, how would you encourage parents who have not been doing that? How oh, you can easily make a shift. Every child ought to, every father ought to be affirming their child. Because children grow up with insecurity. Oh, I'm not pretty. Oh, I'm not too skillful dark enough. Oh, I'm too dark skinny. Oh, I'm just. But <laughs> the affirmation is just. I mean, the, the words of the father bring has an impactful. Mm. It's very very impactful. So you saying you can make it. You better than this. You you can. You have it in you. That goes to the very core of the child's being. Mm. And it just gives him that what what you know what it takes to overcome. So the father's affirmation overpowers every kind of insecurity. Okay. Especially when it's godly, you know, from a godly father. So mm -hmm. that's why it's important a father ought 
to be saying yes. You know, whenever I, when I was, my kids were growing up, I would drop them in school, and one of the parting <laughs> phrases was like, "You're the best." Be the and best. they would say, "Oh, be the best." <laughs> so they they knew that you know that mm -hmm. that's been instilled in them. They are the best, and so they're gonna be the best. So mm -hmm. affirmation is important. I I my I remember whenever you're you're in a time where you're wash, you're not sure what's gonna go on, what's gonna oh you have all this anxiety mm -hmm. or maybe you just you just started a new role. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when my when I was having my third child, mm -hmm. and it was on the way, and I was I was having anxiety. Oh, the third child is on the way, and I remember calling my dad, and my dad says, "Don't worry. When the third child arrives, the my grace, the grace and to provide will are, will be available to you." And I said, "Really?" He said, "Yes," and I believed it. See, it was <laughs> affirmation, affirmation for me, and so guess what? That was, came to be true. Amen. Uh, but I needed that affirmation at that point because I was having anxiety if I was going to you know, pro provide. But it turned out to be, yeah, you know, God took control. Yeah. Good. So thank you so much for sharing with us. And the seven points, like I said, please turn to our web uh, page and you can listen to the full message. And please pass the comments as to questions you may have. And we look forward again to seeing you next week. And have a blessed and a happy Father's Day. Your father in heaven, who is the greatest and the ultimate. So he set you in families so that you can receive that grace and so, so much peace. Have a great day.